Hi team my name is Prabh Nair and nations want to know how to get a job in cyber security or information security so i thought i will make a first video on this particular topic so every time i basically get a questions emails even on the linkedin prab how to get a job in cyber security how i want to move my career from it to information security so it is difficult for me to answer all the questions because it is the same template so i thought i will start my first video series on this topic so what is cyber and what is security first we need to understand cyber is a group of systems cyber is a network cyber is a a connected computing okay and security is basically a process which protect this particular computing we also use the one word called information security which is all about protect the digital data now both are different because cyber security is one of the sub part of the information security we'll discuss suppose i open an account in one bank and they have given me a net banking services so they give me a username password i use my username password by which i can able to see my content i can able to see my transaction even i can protect that information from my family even my wife so what is that the information is only available to me that is called as a confidentiality it's a very important information which is available to me and it should be only available to me they have given me one unique username and password and i can change it later it is same like when i access any house they have given me key that key is basically way to operate the house so key is only available to me so this is how the information in that house or information in the account is confidential and it is available to me only second is whatever i can see in the bank in my statement all are correct there is no error that is called integrity that state of information called as accuracy and third whenever i want i want the net banking site i want it must be available whenever i want to surf that is called availability so confidentiality of the information integrity of the information and availability of information need to maintain by bank it is their responsibility and that is why they hire a professionals because if they fail to provide me the services they might lose some customers like me if i find my wife get to know today i got 10000 dollars i got 30000 dollars so i will be in trouble <laughs> so i will call bank and say how dare you to share my information even with my wife even with my family so that is basically called as a trust that is called as a integrity of the company and that is why they hire a security professionals to protect our data our information from unauthorized user here in this case my wife is unauthorized user might be because i haven't shared any information with her so that is called as a information security and cyber security now how to get a job in cyber security but before try to identify how to get a job in cyber security or information security what you say first we need to understand what are the type of jobs we have in the information security so you can set your target you can set your goals you can set your plan until unless you don't have a visibility you can't drive any functions so in cyber security sorry in the information security because cyber security is a sub part of the information security so in the information security we have three important vertical yeah actually you can say like that in the information security we have a three important layers or you can say three verticals the first part is basically called as a security testing the second part is basically called as a security product and third we called as a security management yes i'm keeping this management as a top because it is basically like managing managing security so first we discuss about security testing what is security testing now bank build one website they want someone to test that website to make sure website protect from hackers same like when i lock my house i will say could you guys please check my lock is working effectively try to break you know 
we take a confirmation by the, just just snatching that particular lock you know to check whether it is locked or not same like when we build our website when we build some application when we build up system we make sure it should be protect from bad people come on i don't want my information my services should be available to others which they have not even paid for it same like i got a netflix account and someone got my username and password i am paying for the subscription and he enjoying the movies does not make sense so i want to understand how secure is my component so there is a team who basically test that particular component they test that particular application so that vertical is called as a security testing now what kind of a profiles we have in the security testing the first is bug bounty they are the people who basically discover the bugs in the application they report they get a reward in terms of vouchers money and other things so it is basically a good starting point if you planning to start with the security testing like you know do some coding so we'll discuss in my next series so i'm just giving a high level here so most of the people we start like this only they are the college coders school coders who do some codings and discover the bugs and they report and in returns they get some kind of a vouchers uh gifts and money i have seen couple of folks who really made their big empire from this particular vertical second is called as a penetration testers a professional testers who are not only testing the applications or bug bounties but also prepare the reports and present the, to the management penetration testers okay vulnerability assessors so company has given the different different name to them because one professional finding a bugs one professional translating a bugs into risk what is the risk from this issue okay i found system has no password okay it's a weakness but what happened yeah if system has a no password anyone can access your data and it is a problem for you right so it's a risk risk of losing that information risk of gaining access by someone else so penetration testers not only test the applications they test the networks they test the systems and they convert the vulnerability reports into risk reports and they present to the management so you can say like that uh, more professionals are called as a penetration testers okay i'm not against a bug bounty experts or pen tester i'm just telling you how industry works then we also have a new trend which is coming in the market called as a threat intelligence they are the one who discover the threats make the organization protect the organization from the new threats that is a new emerging concept coming in the security testing that can be a good opportunity for you be a threat intelligence expert so these are the thing three things three kind of profiles we have in the security testing now second is basically called as a security products now in the security products like we talk about firewalls we talk about dlp we talk about casb so these are the type of solutions we have which required to be managed by professionals now we have a website we have a professional to test that website that is okay now the website it's also protect by some kind of a solutions right i'm not waiting for someone to basically come and hack my server so there will be some kind of a solution before it basically you know uh, access my website so we have a firewall which basically filter that connections they basically filter the communications they basically monitor the traffic they basically prevent the intrusion so we have a firewalls there is a possibility some people internally want to send some information outside so we need to monitor that also so we have a dlp because we don't only monitor what come from outside to inside we also check what we are sending from inside to outside is it clear not necessary your kids are always good <laughs> so it's okay you can protect your kids from external bad people but also you need to protect your kid make sure he is not involved in any kind of a bad activity intentionally or unintentionally so that's why we say internal threat is the biggest threat that's why we installing a dlps and all that along with that we also use the proxies to make sure what kind of a content you are sending so we can able to discover so we need a expertise in this kind of a products <laughs> sorry the third thing is basically so we called as a security professionals security products network security experts okay firewall security administrators so these kind of profiles comes in the 
सिक्योरिटी प्रोडक्ट वर्टिकल थर्ड इज कॉल्ड एज अ security management here you get a salary here you get a perks whatever you say based on your thought process in this particular vertical see in a testing you getting a salary for your thought process of finding a bug in a security product there is a limitation on the salary because you have to be expertise in a product and your salary will be calculated based on the product how you manage but a third is basically called as a security management where you basically build the entire security process you need a web server and before the web server we need a firewall why we need that decided by security management they are the one who design the entire security process for the organization same like before building a house we design the map road map how you want to build a house we hire a security guard to protect the house so he is limited to protect the house right but overall building the structures and everything lies with the architect right the security management where the professionals who build the entire process they ensure necessary controls must be there they ensure the positioning of the web servers they ensure firewall remain effective and that profiles is basically called as a security consultants security management security analyst they are the one who basically discover all kind of issues discover all kind of risk in the overall organization and come up with the action plan and they will tell the security products professionals they tell the security specialists okay guys we found some issues in your firewall patch it now testers finding up bugs vulnerabilities but they find the risk because we always map risk with business okay even the testers give the reports to the management these management professional which is called as a security consultant security solution experts okay and they basically understand from this particular vulnerability what is a risk okay we found one system has a weak password which tester has discovered now we try to understand the security consultant from this weak password what was this possible oh wow the system was uh, hacked because they have a weak password and company face the loss of $40000 right so this kind of issues can be traced by the security managers or security consultant okay so that is why in a security consultant which is part of a security management you get a salary for your thought process now summary here is security testing security product and security management now one one more point which i missed in the security management is basically kind of a profiles security auditor he is the one who ensure appropriate security should be there security implementer who basically implement the overall security process in the organization security assessor who will basically ensure the proper risk mitigation or risk assessment need to be performed okay so we we have this kind of profiles in the security management so in my next series i'm going to discuss about the different kind of a training certifications that you can basically pursue to make a career in the security testing product and management thank you for watching this video stay in touch for my next series bye and jai hind